Hi, I'm Monk and this is the Monk Way. Let me explain in very simple terms what exactly is the P-E ratio, the most used valuation metric for the stock markets. If you're new to investing or don't know the P-E ratio well, watch this whole video a few times until you really understand this. It'll help you for the rest of your investing life. Subscribe and leave a like for more investing videos. I make these every day. And check out my stock market group below, where I show you every single move I make in the markets. To begin, the price to earnings ratio is exactly what it sounds like. There are three parts, so let's go over all three. The first part is the price. This is just the price of a single stock. Let's use Apple as our example. Right now the price is $190 per share of Apple. So we have the first part. Simple so far. The second part is earnings. This means the profit the company made in the past year. Earnings actually stands for earnings per share, or EPS. This is the profits per one share of the company, since we're comparing it to the price of one share as well. Let's get this number by looking at Apple's profits for the past year. This is available in the income statement section of any stock information sites like Yahoo Finance. We see in 2018, they had profits of $59 billion in total. But we want the earnings per share, meaning we have to divide those profits by how many shares of Apple stocks there are. We can also find this on Yahoo Finance by looking at shares outstanding. They have 4.7 billion shares in total. So all those shares together make up Apple as a company. Simple math of dividing 59 billion by 4.7 billion gives us an EPS of $12.50. To summarize more simply, since there are 4.7 billion shares of Apple in total, and Apple made $59 billion of profits in total in the past year, each one share of Apple made $12.5. So Apple has an earnings per share of $12.5. That's two parts of the price to earnings ratio we have. First part is the price per one share, $190. Second part is the earnings per one share, $12.5, earned per one share of Apple. And the third part is the ratio. This means comparing two numbers to see how many of one number is in the other. We can get this number by a simple division. To complete the P-E ratio, we divide the price of 190 by the EPS of 12.5, giving us a P-E ratio of 15. So Apple has a P-E ratio of 15 right now. This one number tells us how the company is doing in profits. And the calculation we just did is exactly the same for any stock. Going to any stock quotes, dividing the current stock price by the EPS gives us this P-E ratio. Now we know how to calculate it. What does this one number tell us about the company? Think of the P-E ratio like this. For every $1 the company made, we're paying the P-E ratio number. So for Apple, for every $1 Apple made, we're paying $15. The P-E ratio tells us how many times the profits the current stock price is. Since Apple is $190 and each stock made $12.5, and $190 is 15 times what they earn in profits, we're paying 15 times what Apple made in profits. Let's look at more examples. Facebook is $164 right now with a P-E ratio of 21. Taking what we just learned, we are paying 21 times what Facebook made in profits for the stock. So for every $1 Facebook made, we're paying $21. This ratio tells us how much we're paying in comparison to the company's profits. 21 times sounds a bit high, especially compared to Apple, which is only 15 times. Wouldn't you rather buy a company that made more money? This is why the P-E ratio is important. We can value a company by seeing how much profits they made relative to other companies. In this instance, Apple made a lot more profits compared to Facebook, but we can't use just one number to value a company. For example, Amazon has a P-E ratio of 87. This is very high. We're paying 87 times what Amazon made in profits. If Amazon made $1 last year, we're buying this company for $87. But this stock still rises over the past 5 years, 420% in that time, which is higher than both Apple and Facebook, which went up 150% in 5 years. This is because the market takes into account future growth and future profits. Amazon has a lot of revenue. If they make some changes one year and decide to invest less money in themselves, the profits could explode and multiply by 3. Then their P-E ratio might be extremely low at 10. The stock price takes into account these possibilities. The P-E ratio does not determine how much a stock will grow from here. That's more determined by how much growth momentum the company has. For example, if a company grew revenue by 100% every year, their price will likely go up a lot. Right now, the average P-E ratio is 22. So we can use this number as a quick comparison for every stock we look at. Netflix is at 134. You might think, wow, that's overpriced. But it might be a growth stock. Micron is only 3.8. You might think this is a huge value right now. But it's been dropping hard recently. Dropping a stock price could also lower the P-E ratio, since the price part of this ratio dropped. The lower the stock price, the lower the P-E ratio if the profits hasn't changed. Sometimes the stock might seem like a value, because the stock price fell on bad news. This is a trap, so don't use this one number to buy a dropping stock. No one number is perfect, but you can use it as a signal of how much profits a company is making. It's best to compare companies in similar fields, like comparing Apple to Microsoft, or Nvidia and AMD. Stocks in the same niche tend to have similar ratios, Use this number as a starting guide to valuing a stock. If you still don't understand it, try this very simple example. If I have a company that sells computers and is traded in the stock market, one share of Monk's computer company is worth $100. And last year, we made $10 in profits. This means we have a P-E ratio of 10. If you were to value my company today, 
first you look at their price, which is $100, then look at their earnings, which is $10, and get an idea of how much profits I'm bringing in. A PE ratio of 10 means for every $1 I made, you're paying me $10, or you're paying 10 times what I made in profits. This is a pretty good deal if you're comparing to Apple, which has a PE ratio of 15. Would you rather pay $10 for a company that made $1, or pay Apple $15 for a company that also made $1? The less you're paying for the price of a stock in comparison to profits, the better the deal you just got. If you learned something new today, subscribe and hit the like button for more investing videos. I make these every day. And check out my stock market group below to see every single move I make in the markets. Keep watching to learn about the markets the muck way.